Hello lovelies, you're welcome back to Kemini Cut and Same. I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and to my newbies. Thanks for stopping by and please subscribe, like and comment. Okay, so we'll be doing this wrapped gown that we have on the thumbnail and I'll be using this lycra fabric. So looking at that style, if we want to analyze it, the upper bodice is a princess that we'll be going into that later and it has a basic sleeve that stops at three quarter length of your sleeve and the skirt part too is overlapped is a wrapped dress so we'll first of all draft the skirt part of it whenever i'm cutting a dress i cut the down part of it first so we'll go into that and i'll be using a dartless method so this is the pattern i made and i used the front pattern to cut the back but it is a that i use the that less method i have a video on my channel on that less method so cutting these i've cut the back bodies this is the back bodies and i'll use this front panel to cut two of it because it's a drop dress and looking at it is the wrap is actually different because one goes slantly and the other one goes coffee it's kind of coffee with um with a frill so I'll be using this to cut two of the front panels before we go ahead to cut the upper parts. So I've used the front panel to cut two of it. This is it. So one will go under and the other one will go on top. They will actually overlap. So the right side has to flay. Okay, so at the edge like this, I'll go up with six inches and cuff it from here to meet here now looking at that picture the the slant starts from the hip line okay so i'll be using this for the right side okay and if you look at the curve it starts from the hip line my hip line the hip line i use is 10 inches so i'll start from here from that hip line like this i'll make a curve and then stop it at six inches i'll mark at the edge, I'll mark six inches upward. Okay, so I'll making that curve from there to the spot. So from there, I will cut this out. So for the flare, I'll be measuring the spots like this, so I will know the radius. I'll measure it like this. So, to this other end. So that's 27 inches. I'll be using that 27 inches as a circumference to cut the 360 degree flare. I want to use the 360 degree flare for that frail part of this right side. So for the left side, if you look at the picture, this is what I'll use for the left side. So the right side comes like this. So I want them to actually overlap, but just the difference there will just be the slit there. So for this left side, I'll get the midpoint. I'll notch the midpoint here and here. So remember this is the right part so i'll be making the slant from the hip line here and i'll get i'll take it to the to two inches behind the midpoint like this so this is the midpoint at the hem so i'll go like two and a half inches you know from the midpoint backward and i'll i'll mark the hip line here as well I'll do a slant from there to the hem. So I'll use my ruler and make a slant. I'm sorry, the camera didn't pick the part that I cut out this place. So I used four inches from the midpoint. I, I marked four inches backward and then I connect it to four inches beyond the hip line. Hope you understand. That's where I did the slant. 
from that point i made a straight slant using my ruler i drew a line to meet that point that's how i got this slant and when i bring the the right side together this is how it will look like so now we'll be cutting the flip part so this is a 360 in case you don't have any idea of how to cut a 360 degree flare i have a video on my channel on how to to cut a 360 degree flare so, so i'll just slash it open from this end i'll bring in the part that we have to put the flare around and this is how it will look like i'll take it to the machine and sew it from this part like this to the other part I will cut the upper bodies before we start sewing. After cutting it on the fabric, this is what it looks like. Exactly what I cut on the pattern. This for the front bodies. And this is the back bodies. So I'll take it to the machine now. Remove this. And then I'll sew the side back to the side front. Okay. And then I'll work on the back the front bodies and the side front and I will do the same for the upper bodies for the down part this is the back body so I'll take it and so I use half inch to sew like I said already for a lycra fabric I usually don't add um, seam allowance so this is for the back bodies this is how far I've gone with the skirt this is the front part okay so I use bias to turn the left side and I use bias for the flip part of the second of the wrap. So this is how it looks. So the next thing I'll bring the upper bodies. This is the front panel. I've sewn the bustier. And I will notch the middle of this. I get the midpoint. Notch it and then I'll bring it to the middle point of the skirt part and then pin. So pinning it, I will sew it from this midpoint to this side and from the midpoint to the other part. I'll leave about one inch before the edge of it. So I will use it to, to seam the back to it. So same thing I will do with the back bodies. This is the upper bodies and the skirt part. So I've already added interface to the zip part. I'll be adding zip to it for for ease when you're wearing when the client is wearing it so i've added interface to the upper bodies and the skirt part so i'll just need to lose this part you know i'll lose it and then i'll lose the skirt the zip part of the skirt too so when i've lose the skirt part i'll bring the upper bodies like this and then take it to the zip part make sure that where i have these two lines meet like this and then i'll pin i'll pin this other side as well and then i'll be sewing this too from the midpoint to the end of it this way like i did to the front i'll be leaving about one inch here and i'll sew this part to the end and i'll leave one inch I will not stop stitch okay so that's how it look and i will lose this whole part of it so i can insert the zipper at the back so this is how the front looks like i've joined the upper part to the skirt part and this is the back bodies like i said i've inserted the zipper so the next thing we will join the front to the back but first of all, I'll go to the seaming first. So I'll measure from this end like this. And I have 22. I have 23 inches. From here, I'll measure from this part 23 inches to this part. And I have 50. So I'm working with 45 inches as my bust measurement. So I have one, two, three, four, 
five inches extra for seam allowance so i'll be using one one eight for each part i'll do the same thing to the waist and to the hip and then i'll join all of them with the shoulders this address and how far we have gone with it okay so the next thing i will i have used bias to do the hemming i had to do it before i joined the last part the hip the, the, the skirt part okay so i've done all the cement all the cement i will use bias i'll trim out all the excess of the zipper and i will use bias to turn the neck and then insert the sleeves now for the sleeve is a basic sleeve the three quarter sleeves i have a tutorial on how to draft the basic sleeve so i made a pair a pair of this okay so i i have already um hem it with bias i use a bias tape to, to do the hemming so i'll just use half inch to hem it from the arm curve to the hem like this like this and then i'll insert it to the gown for the sleeve i've already notched the midpoint of it the center so i'll bring it to this to the gown and then locate the center like this and notch now remember we added one inch to it so it will not be the center will not be the same that you have on the shoulder line but you will take it from this arm curve like this and then make sure that it's straight and always remember that the back is half inch wider than the front arm curve so i've located the not the middle and i've notched it so i'll bring the sleeves like this and pin pin it this way and then you take the seam of the sleeves to the seam of the gown the side seam of the gown and place it this way so when you so after that i'll take this to the machine and sew it all round like this and then you're done with the dress so if this video adds any value to you at all please like share and comment thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video